So, no New Year's resolutions here. Instead, I want to talk about intention and attention. So stay tuned. Hi, my name's Christine L. Conroy. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff, a channel for women who are getting happy and growing into the very best versions of themselves. So we have a new flavour for Happy Stuff and Fluff in the new year. Uh, first of all, the videos are going to be coming out on Thursdays for a while instead of the usual Monday. So I hope you can make it. I do hope you can make it. Um, and also, if you want to stay uh, towards the end of this video for Coffee with Chrissy, and I'll tell you about my Christmas. But for now, I want to get on with the video because this year is going to be your year. This year is going to be your year. Now, New Year's resolutions, I've talked about these before and incidentally, I've already done a video this year. I did a YouTube live and I know many of you missed that because you didn't know it was happening. And I want to thank Laura. Thank you, Laura, because she spotted it and, um, and managed to see it live and comment whilst I was talking, which you can still do. In fact, you can go back to the video. I'll leave it here. Watch the video and then comment and I can go back and talk to you. And that's one of my intentions for this year to communicate more with you. OK, so what do I mean by intention? Well, what I want you to do, and you may have to, you know, sit down with pen and paper, give yourself some me time in order to do this. I want you to think about um, the kind of person you want to be this year. Who do you want to be this year? And in what direction do you want your life to go? And have the intention to be that person and to take your life in that particular direction. So you're going to need to sit down and, um, and think about that because, you know, very often we just live our lives allowing life to happen to us. You know, you may have children. I was going to say you may have lots of children. You may have lots of children. You may have lots of grandchildren. You may have to go to work and you just are so busy um, getting through the tasks of the day of living, day-to-day -day living, that you don't give this any thought. This is what you need to change. You, not, you need to start living with deliberate thought about who you want to be and the way you want your life to go. Not your life at the moment, just this year is what I want you to think about. I want you to think about this year only to start with. So to have an, set an overall ten intention then, that's a deliberate thought about who you want to be this year, the kind of person you want to be, and um, which direction you want your life to go in. And when you've written that down, perhaps you could condense it into a couple of sentences and put it somewhere you can see it all the time and carry that intention through with you every day. And I promise you, it will start to affect your life almost by osmosis and you will start to behave in ways that will help you to achieve that. Of course, more on, the, more on this as, as time goes on. But for now, I want you to do that and that's what I mean by intention. Now, when I talk about attention, because um, again, you know, talking about living life on autopilot, this is something that we have to stop doing. And in order to explain what I mean, I have adapted a piece by the uh, Vietnamese Buddhist monk and teacher Thich Nhat Hanh um, about this. And so sit back and just listen to this for a second. OK, a little story for you. So one day... Um, remember the days. One day you're going to go shopping because you have friends around for dinner that night. And so before you go, you decide to have a cup of tea before you go out shopping. But you realise that all the cups need to be washed. So you wash the cups. But washing the cups is only preparation for making the tea. So you're not really there for the washing of the cups. You don't feel the warmth of the water on your hands or smell the soap suds. Who would? After all, it seems irrelevant. So you make the tea. But when you're drinking the tea, your mind is on the shopping expedition and if the traffic's going to be bad and how long it's going to take you to get there. And then you look at your tea and it's gone. You've drunk it all and you think to yourself, did I drink all that? I must have. But you weren't there for the tea. And then when you're on the way to the shops, you're thinking about what you're going to need to buy. And when you arrive at the supermarket, you think to yourself, gosh, I'm here already. I don't even remember the journey. Because you weren't there for the journey. 
And when you're in the supermarket, you're wondering if the queues at the till are going to be long. And when you get in the queue, you are hoping that the person in front of you is not going to ask about the price of bread or produce lots of different coupons in order to pay her bill. Finally, you get back to the car and start your drive home, looking very much forward to the cup of tea that you're going to have and put your feet up for a few minutes before you start cooking when you get in. And on, and on, and on. Until all of a sudden you realise the time and ask yourself, where did the day go? Where did the day go? Because the tea, the journey, the shopping, the drive home, the cooking has all been lost to you. Have you had days like that? I know I have. Um, not as many since I read this, I have to say. And you might laugh and think, yes, I do have days like that. You know, why is it important? Well, think of it this way. Let's say that you are at the end of your life and let's say you have a few months to live and you're looking back at your life just as you did that first teacup. And you think, what happened? That was it. That was my life. It must have been. Did I live the life? I don't remember. Yes, you were the one who lived the life, but you were not there for it. You were not there for it. Now, I know that's a depressing thought, which is why it's a good thing we're thinking about it now so that we can prevent that from happening. And this is also what I mean about living your life on autopilot. Not only does life happen to you, but you're so busy thinking about the next thing that you don't think about what's actually going on now. Now, this you could say is mindfulness. It's not quite mindfulness because I'm not asking you to pay attention without judgment. I'm asking you to think clearly about what it is you're doing right now. Feel it, enjoy it. You know, we did the savouring video. Try some of that. I'll leave another link for that and I'll leave it down in the description box below. So, start to think about an intention for who you want to be in the life you want to live and then start to pay attention to what you are doing as you are doing it during your day and you are going to start to see a difference. We will be covering all of this and how we then how we were then going to set the goals in order to achieve our intentions. We'll be doing all of that. Um, but first of all, get your mindset in the right place, intention and attention. And we'll talk about this again. So, how was your Christmas then? I know, I bet you're thinking, Christine hasn't taken her decorations down, the painting's still here. Well, I have. Um, I, I'm a little bit of a stickler for tradition, actually, and I don't take my decorations down until the 6th, the 12th night. Oh, it's getting increasingly difficult to take some things down. Um, every year, something kind of sneaks into my decor at Christmas that stays there all year round. I have a suspicion this might be one of them. Um, if not here, somewhere else. I've so much enjoyed having it uh, to look at. Yeah, my Christmas tree turned out to be beautiful, not quite how I intended it to be. I'll leave some pictures if I can at the end. Um, but uh, yeah, I, we had a lovely Christmas. I mean, we were able to have one of my sons here and his partner and uh, had a lovely day. And uh, except I did the Christmas dinner and the turkey was a little bit dry. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's by the by. Everything else went uh, quite nicely. And then, of course, uh, well, uh, I say, of course, in the in the UK, immediately after Christmas, we were put into these tough restrictions. And so New Year's Eve was kind of didn't didn't really happen in terms of having big celebrations. And also New Year's Eve is my son's birthday. And we were not able to celebrate that with him either. Uh, but, you know, I do think it's a small price to pay when you consider the number of people who have lost their lives and who have been ill with COVID. Um, but as I said, uh, this is the year we're going to kick ass, actually, as far as COVID's concerned. And we won't have it to worry about for long, I don't think. So we're still in those um, severe restrictions. And, you know, it's taught me an awful lot about myself. And I'm sure we'll talk about this again in the future. But... It wasn't quite how we would have liked it to be, but it was lovely 
and we enjoyed every minute of it and I've got quite a few exciting things to come up uh, to that are coming up in the new year that I can't tell you about yet but I will do um, and yeah let me say to you a very happy new year you're going to have a happy new year and I'm going to help you to do that okay if there's anything at all that you want me to cover in the videos um, leave it in the comments at any time leave it in the comments. I'm always looking for things I can talk about to you that will help you to become the very best version of yourself. Um, hence the new tagline you will have noticed at the, the uh, beginning of the video. Um, you know that's what I want for myself and that's what I want for you. And so uh, that's the uh, overall intention of Happy Stuff and Fluff um, this year. Okay, um, once I get talking, I could keep you for half an hour. Um, look at this cup, is lovely. This is a cup Charlotte bought for me. I don't know if you can see that. It says, if mums were flowers, I'd pick you. Um, how delightful. So yes, Charlotte was with us. Um, Charlotte was with us in what I call absent presence. And uh, I'll be talking about that soon too. Okay, I'll let you go. And as I said, I wish you all the very best for the new year. And I'm going to help you get all the very best for the new year. See you next time. Bye-bye.